Hey, I'm here live from the Louisiana State Capitol where HB 813 is about to be heard on the House floor. The House chamber is right through that door. And we've got a lot of people that have gathered here in support of the bill. So I'm going to give a, a few minutes to let people get on here. And I'd love to answer any questions that you've got and just give you a general update as to what is going on in Louisiana with the Abolition of Abortion Act in Louisiana. Right now we're at the state capitol. I'm going to go walk around for a minute and give you an idea of what's going on here. So what we've got right here is some pro-abort ladies that have showed up at the Capitol and they're trying to debate and saying, one lady said the most dangerous thing in this world is to be pregnant. And so it should be your choice if you want to terminate the child because the most dangerous thing in this world is to be pregnant. That's what this lady is saying as she's debating some of these abolitionists that are here at the state Capitol. But as we're as we're walking around, we're looking at all the, the people that have gathered here at the Louisiana State Capitol to call for the abolition of abortion. They have a bill that is going to be heard on the House floor that will provide equal justice, equal protection to all image bearers in the state of Louisiana. So they've got that bill that's going to be on the floor. We've got people that have gathered here in the rotunda. We're at the state capitol in Louisiana. And here before too long, right through those doors, the Louisiana House will take it up. They'll debate it. Some will surely try to offer amendments on it. And then they will vote on it. Session starts at 2 p.m. today in Louisiana. So 2 p.m. session starts and they could hear it any time but they're saying it could be as late as 5 or 6 when, when they'll actually bring up this piece of legislation. So I'm going to go here in the back for just a second and try to update you on what's going on. So again, if you're just now getting on here, I am at the Louisiana State Capitol on behalf of Rescue Those. Rescue Those is an organization that exists to equip and educate the saints to rescue the preborn that are being taken away to death. So that's what we're doing here. We're here to in support of HB 813, House Bill 813 in Louisiana, which would make it illegal to murder babies. As simple as that. The homicide laws that protect all people in Louisiana outside of the womb would be applied to every human being from the moment of fertilization. And so no one would be exempt if they murder a child. Everyone would be treated equally for murdering a baby. And that means babies would actually be protected as adults are, as children outside of the womb are. This is the most righteous piece of legislation that has ever been put forward in the state because this is the most heinous situation that has ever happened in this state. That they've been part of murdering seven to 9,000 children every year in the state under cover of law. And so what needs to happen is abortion needs to be abolished in the state and just made illegal and everyone protected under the law, just like adults and children outside of the womb are protected by the homicide code. So that's the bill. They're going to put it forward. And what we've heard from some of the pro-life leaders in the House is that they are going to offer up multiple amendments to the bill. And what they're basically saying they're going to do is try to amend it so that it guts it, essentially, and changes it into a pro-life regulation, unequal weights and measures, partiality bill, just like all the other pro-life bills that have been happening by the pro-life movement and the pro-life industry has been pushing for years and years and years. And the same kind of bill is what they're going to try to amend it to that has led to just last year, 
uh, seven to eight thousand reported abortions happening in Louisiana under cover of law. So we've got word that through those doors here in just a little bit, the House, the pro-life leaders in the House are going to try to amend the bill to basically gut it and make it mirror another just pro-life regulation bill that does not establish equal protection. So I'm asking you to pray, pray for God to change the minds of these legislators because they do have before them a righteous piece of legislation that if passed without amendment, it would establish equal protection in this state. It would be illegal to murder babies, period, paragraph. That's what they do have before them. So pray that God would change them so that they, they wouldn't offer any kind of amendments. And they would just see it through and say, this is what's right. This is what we should do. We're going to fear God. We're not going to fear man. We're going to not bow down to the Supreme Court who says currently still that we have to allow the murder of babies. We're not going to wait on the Supreme Court to say, you know what? You can now protect citizens in your state. We're not going to wait on that because... The Supreme Court is dead wrong with Roe, as the leaked decision even shows, and it's time for the state, especially Louisiana right now, to stand up and say, we're not going to wait till the Supreme Court tells us we can protect our citizens. We're going to do it whether they tell us we can protect our citizens or not. So that's what the bill is. Pray for the legislators, for God to change their minds, those who are plotting and scheming to do wicked things to try to gut this bill and make it just another pro-life incremental regulation bill. Pray that they would have courage and they would fear God more than they fear man and they would not offer any amendments. Fear God, not man, abolish abortion, do not amend. That's the message to the legislators. Fear God, not man, abolish abortion, do not amend. HB 813 will be up here before too long. They go into session at 2 p.m., and they might hear it at 5 or 6. They might hear it anytime after 2, but we'll keep you updated as to what's going on here at the Capitol. Please, please be praying, and please know that if the pro-life House representatives here in Louisiana, if they gut this bill, if they offer these amendments that basically ruin, ruin it and make it an unjust piece of legislation, you need to know they're planning on doing that. They're not confused about doing that. They've said they do not want abortion to be just flat out criminal. <coughs> they want to offer exceptions in it. They, would, they don't want the woman to ever be told you cannot murder. And if you murder, there will be consequences. They don't want to do that. They want to let the woman off the hook and for her to be able to murder her baby with impunity. They've said that. They have a bill of abolition. And you're about to see whether or not they do what the pro-life movement, a lot of people say they want to do. Uh, we, yeah, of course we want to abolish abortion, they say. Well, let's see if they actually mean it. Because they have a bill to abolish abortion, to end it, to make it criminal, to provide equal protection. They have that before them right now. What will the pro-life legislators do? Will they actually end it? Will they establish justice for our preborn neighbors here in Louisiana? Or will they amend it and do what they've been doing for years, regulating it, and which has led to the slaughter of 65 million children in the womb? What will the pro-life leaders do? So I'm going to walk back around here again and give you another view of what's going on here at the Louisiana State Capitol. And stay tuned for more. You guys want to say hi? Yeah. We're, we're live trying to update everyone on what's going on here at the Capitol. Give me like, give me a couple, give me like one minute of what's going on here and what we're expecting to see. So they go into session at two o'clock. Uh, right over to our right is the uh, House of Representatives where they gather. They go into session at two o'clock. Our bill is supposed to be heard somewhere around, we really don't know. It could be three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. 
Uh, right now, it is it is a it's a big spiritual battle. It's hot and cold. We have believing representatives who, of course, saw the bill, said, "Yep, that's right before God. Yep, that's just," and they were all for it. But after the pro-life uh, industry and leaders came in and tried to resist this, they've been going back and forth because they, I think, during that moment of confusion, hey, I yep. I thought these guys were on our team, sort of a thing, and so. It's been a hot and cold all the last week. So we have legislators that said yes, then they said no, now they're back to yes again. And so right now there's no telling what's gonna happen. So the church is here from all over Louisiana, or really all over the country. Uh, people are still coming in and uh, we're here. I think what's, get, what's most apparent about what's happening right now versus what they're used to is that this is a movement of believers not compromising, standing on the word of God, under the authority of Jesus Christ, and we're here. Th th we're here to worship. Worship is warfare, yeah. and we're here to worship. And they've never seen anything like that before. So that's what makes this wholly distinct. Is this the move of God? It's the move of the church. It's not compromise. Um, it's not uh, unequal weights and measures. This is uh, purely a gospel-centered movement, and uh, and they're seeing that. And I'll tell you what; those legislators, they are feeling it. I've been in meetings with them this week, face to face with them. They've met, they've been in tears even uh, over the conversations that we had. They're 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 I think dealing with that internal conflict of going. Now I know as a believer what's right before God, but I'm being told by these leaders over here not to pass this bill. But I know that it's right. That's the thing I've been yeah. challenging with them with. I'm saying, do you believe everything in that bill? Yeah. And their answer is yes, it's right. Yeah. But but I'm being told now is not the time. That's, the, that's the, the famous thing being told to these legislators from the pro-life leaders out here. They're literally saying, we agree with the bill. We know it has to come to that, but now is not the time. Yeah. That's what they're saying. So one of the things I was trying to point out is the fact that a lot of the pro-life leaders will say when we push them that they do want the same thing we want. They say that. Yeah. Like we have the same end goal. That's what we want. We want to abolish abortion. And now I'm saying, well, you have the bill that will abolish abortion in the state of Louisiana that's going to be on the floor. So what are you going to do, pro-life lead? Like, what are you going to do, legislators? We delivered it to you. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what so I've been saying. Is Don't amend it. We you don't need to amend it, right? We, we, delivered, we delivered the bill. We delivered the bill to you that you've been preaching about and speaking yeah. about and raising donations for. You've, right. been, you've been doing all of that for so long, and we just delivered the bill that actually... Uh, codifies yeah. what you say you believe. Yeah. Why are you resisting it? Right. Why are you resisting it? That's They're right, finally yeah. coming to terms with the implications of what they initially said they believed whenever they said, we're committed pro-life. We will do what God says. Now they're coming to terms with, do we really believe that? Yeah. Do we understand what we were committing to and what God's Word calls us to? And what God's, call, God's Word calls us to is to treat every image bearer equally to That's love right. our neighbor as ourselves, yeah. without any exceptions, without any compromises, right. to establish justice as God demands in His Word. And That's so right. now that they're being brought to that line, they're asking themselves, am I ready to stand? And we're just here to say, we're not going to tamper with God's Word. We're not going to use underhanded ways in any way. We're just going to speak, make open statements of the truth to the conscience. And we want you to do what we've done as well. Just repent with us right. and yeah. follow Christ. We're yeah. not asking for you to move mountains. Mm -hmm. We're just asking you for you to obey Jesus. That's right. Yeah, establish justice. Yeah. What we're doing right now is consistent with God's word and it's consistent with the law of the land, the constitution itself. And so what we're actually suggesting is that their position has been for 50 years, the pro-life establishment, it has been inconsistent. It's been inconsistent with God's word. It's been inconsistent with love for neighbor and love for God. It's been inconsistent with the law of the land itself. Right. Um, the, and I think one of the glorious things about the moment we're in right now is just the fact that in the last couple of weeks after the leak of Roe versus Wade mm -hmm. and what they're gonna do possibly overturning, what it's actually done is it's highlighted something very important that we've been saying for a very long time. Yeah. And that is that Roe versus Wade is not the law of the land. That's right. It is court opinion. It is not law. Only Congress can legislate in our nation. That's right. And so you can see even, I mean, th I mean, last month, pro-life leaders talking about Roe as law. Roe is the law of the land. Never has been. Mm -hmm. And the people who understand that best are the Democrats. That's right. Because what did they try yesterday? Yep. They tried to yep. codify yep. Roe versus Wade as what? Law. Well, it failed because they go, oh, now we have to do this in a way that our Constitution actually says we're supposed to do it. Yep. And that's the Congress creates law. 
So yep. in other words, what they revealed is that Roe versus Wade was never the law of the land. That's it was a right. court opinion. Yep. Yep. Our nation was built upon a Christian worldview where there's a division of powers, a separation of powers because people are sinful. Yep. We never developed the Supreme Court as a supreme being. That's right. That's right. That's and right. the Supreme Court, it gives court opinions. It is up to the legislatures to, to basically determine as to whether or not that was just, righteous, lawful. Right. And you can see that we have a history of resisting tyrannical and unjust decrees from the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Our Supreme case we love to point to, because yep. everyone feels the weight of it, is, is uh, Dred Scott versus Sanford, right. yep. where the states actually heard the opinion of the Supreme Court right. and said, Define. absolutely not. No way. That's unjust, right. that's evil, that's immoral. We will not listen to you. Well, what we've needed to do for 50 years is do just that to the Supreme Court. That's right. Say this is evil, and it's led to the bloodshed of over 60 million image bearers of God. Yep. And the great moment we're in is the revelation of everything we've been saying as, as believers yep. for the last decade. Yep. Ignore Roe. It's yep. not the law of the land. Yep. And as soon as the leak comes out, what do the Democrats do? They reveal it's not law. Yep. We better make it law. Yep. And so what does that mean is that we've had, because of compromise and ignorance of our law, 60 million babies murdered. Yep. And the pro-life industry has actually contributed yep. to that error That's because right. they haven't followed Scripture, yep. they haven't had allegiance to Christ, and they haven't even followed the law of the land. That's right. And so regardless of what happens to Roe versus Wade, regardless, yep. if it's overturned tonight, if they release the opinion tonight and say, yeah, it's overturned, we still have to end this. Yeah, yeah. according to God's to, word, we still to have word. to establish justice That's right. no yeah. matter what the Supreme Court says. That's right. And unfortunately, it's not the pro-life movement that understands that best. It's even the Biden-Harris platform was to get past Roe as the law of the land. Right. They've right. been trying to do that. Why Republicans have lost our ability to fight. And I think it principally points to, if, if you look at the pro-life industries or the uh, establishments, uh, strategy for the last almost 50 years it has been secular in bowing to certain pragmatic decisions rather than saying here's what god's word says and this is how god demands that laws be established there is no standard other than god's law and our nation is built on that but for some reason for a half century we have moved away from that and by god's grace through all these things that have been happening in his providence now is the time to get this passed and establish justice for these babies here and then move out. That's from, right. From yeah. That's right. Sorry, so let's she, see let's see what wants, happens. She wants to take the Okay. All right, so Jeff Jeff is gonna try to talk to this lady, this pro abort, who would like to talk, so he's gonna talk to her now. Dusty is now talking with Brian Gunter. Brian here with Dusty is the guy who's principally responsible for getting this job done here in Louisiana, lobbying the legislators and helping get the bill authored. And Brian's been working his tail off for the glory of God and the good of his neighbors. So I'm going to take you around just for a few more minutes to get an idea. Oh. How are you? That's okay. Good. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. So we've got this is what's going on here. Here in a few minutes, we're going to start singing. We're going to praise the Lord together. And all these people have showed up to support the bill. All right, so I'm, I'm going to get off here, and we're going to start singing praises and reading scripture here in just a few minutes. And that will be live streamed, I believe, on Apologia Studios. So go to Apologia, to their Facebook or their YouTube. And here in just a few minutes, they're going to start live streaming the rally that we are having here at the Louisiana State House. So pray for the Lord to change the minds of legislators who are standing in the way of justice so that they would pass this bill out of the House and it would move closer to passing and being signed by the governor and going into effect here in Louisiana, the bill that would end, abolish abortion in the state of Louisiana, and everyone that lives here would be protected under law. That would glorify God, wouldn't it? That would glorify God. So let's do our duty, and let's trust the Lord, trust His providence, and we will see what the Lord does. Thanks for tuning in. I'll update you later, and. 
if you would share this video around so people can get an idea of what's going on here at the Louisiana State Capitol with HB 813, the Abolition of Abortion Act in Louisiana. So share this around so people can see it. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.